types of the sprinkler irrigation system so there are different types of the irrigation system may be classified based on your application of your water and spray pattern so those are two types majorly one is a rotating head as shown in this picture the sprinkler will rotate okay and next one is your perforated pipe system so let us see the rotating head sprinkler so here as shown in this picture the sprinkler will rotate here we have two nozzle one is your small nozzle and another is your big nozzle or larger nozzle from this the water will come due to the thrust of the water which come from your riser wall okay this will create the pressure okay so that due to thrust of the water this nozzle will rotate so uh, here the small spraying size nozzles are placed on the your pipe of certain height known as your riser pipe we will see what is the riser in upcoming slides okay the small spraying nozzle are mounted on your riser pipe it fixed at a uniform interval so this type of nozzles are fixed in the continuous lateral wherever we required in the spraying head this is called your spraying head okay having the two nozzles which will rotate okay 90 to 360 degrees as shown in this picture on your irrigated areas this rotating sprinkler have one is your smaller nozzle and one is your bigger nozzle as i told you and due to the pressure of your water okay due to the thrust of the water this system is rotated the pressure required to operate this system is normally 2 to 4 kg per centimeter square and the application rate is 4 to 20 mm per hour depending on your nozzle size and spacing of your sprinkler system this slowly rotating the sprinkler used the for the crop like one nozzle or sometimes this sprinkler system having the two nozzles okay depends on your requirement we will use the small nozzle or one nozzle or two nozzles are there and medium discharge or discharge of the sprinkler is medium that is your 7.5 to 75 liter per minute so these are the components of your sprinkler system as shown in this picture so next one is your perforated pipe system this system further classified as the one is your portable semi portable permanent semi permanent and solid set in the perforated pipe system the pipes having the holes or nozzle along this length where the water will come under the high pressure so this system usually required the low operating pressure that is your 1 kg per centimeter square the application rate of this sprinkler is only 1.25 to 5 cm per hour so let us see the different types of the perforated system so one is your portable system so let us see in this video the entire system of your water source main sub main laterals are portable will be carry from one place to one place like as shown in this picture the main lines or sub mains are carried and this lateral so this is the call your riser see this is the riser and this is the sprinkler system so these are the carried and the water will so this is the system called portable system in this system the portable main line as i shown in this video sub main laterals and pumping plant mean water source so entire system will carried portable or may move from one place to another place so in this condition this system will require a higher labor because we need to carry this system uh, main sub main laterals from one place to another place we require the labor semi portable system so this system has portable main line sub main and ladder only fixed location is your water source and pumping plant okay here we will use only fixed condition that is the water source a pumping plant mean motors so that is only fixed remaining all are movable semi permanent system in this system only laterals are portable mean the main sub main laterals are may be fixed or permanently buried or below the ground the main line and sub main are buried and the risers are located at suitable interval and are connected with the laterals mean here the sub mains and main line buried under the ground and the only laterals are like this okay this type of laterals are located over the ground surface next permanent system in this system entire system that is your main sub main laterals are fixed and the sprinklers are permanently located at each riser the solid set system the movement of your lateral is eliminated at least for the one season of your crop means here for suppose we are growing the crop for a 6 months so in this condition the laterals are fixed okay there is a no movement of this laterals so the laterals are installed in the field early in the crop season and kept for whole crop season meaning the system is beneficial when the frequent moving of the lateral is not required and need the frequent irrigation for a smaller depth next one is your set move irrigation system this is 
move irrigation system or moved from one set irrigation to another set of irrigation okay by your machine or hand as shown in this video okay by using the, your machines the entire system will operated here after completion of the, your irrigation again we will remove the, all the component or unload the water from this laterals or sprinkler system again we will move the system to another location again we will start the irrigation so this type of irrigation is called your simply set move irrigation system and this type of irrigation system can be moved by different mechanism one is your hand move toy move side roll and gun so your hand move laterals are moved by your uncoupling picking up and carrying the section of lateral by hand as shown in this video that all the main sub main laterals will removed or dismantled individually and moved from one place to another place toy move like this system as i told you the complete system is there this is called your sub main and to this sub main the sprinklers are hanged and the water will come from this nozzles or sprinklers so this type of system will connected with your any machine okay that will move the system from one place to another place after completion of each irrigation system so as shown in this picture the side roll means that the complete wheels are arranged in this system and from this system the complete nozzle or sprinkler will provided okay this system will continuously moves and for a certain duration okay after apply complete in irrigation system this system will disconnected from water source again will move the certain distance and will connect the water source and where we will apply the water for the field so that is called your side roll system and gun type is the large sprinklers as shown in this picture the large sprinklers are arranged at equal interval so this type of system are called your gun type systems so let us see the gun type sprinkler irrigation system the rain gun system having the high performance of the micro irrigation system means the high quantity of water will required for the longer distance so where our small sprinkler or micro sprinkler use the water will distribute or pump or sprays the water only for the shorter distance but whereas this type of guns will use longer distance it will throw the water for the longer distance under the high pressure system that pressure is carries the up to 90 kg per centimeter square and flow rate of this type of rain gun is 3 to 30 liter per second the rain gun throws the water as to the longer distance with a high flow rate and the gun is consist of your two nozzles one is your small we call that is cover the shorter distance another is your large that is cover the long distance this type of rain guns are mostly suitable for the tropical and we need to frequently control the temperature and humid regions like especially for your sugar cane pulses or oil seed crops the rain guns are available in the full circle and parts that means this system will completely rotate okay like this so this system will complete rotate okay in circular shape or partly like means 180 degrees like this so this is called your simply rain gun system and other classification of the sprinkler systems are based on their continuous move as i told you there are different types of movement those are central pivot linear move and traveler system so we are not going to discuss all details just we are going to discuss types and application rate precipitation rate of your sprinkler that is called your low volume medium volume and high volume sprinklers based on the operating pressures so this type of operating pressures as i told you the minimum operating pressure for sprinkler is 0.5 to 10 kg per cm square for a rain gauge up to the 90 kg per cm square so in this condition in between we have classified the low to perforated pipe systems okay all are the different types and next to principle of operation wireless sprinkler mean completely rotate like this and turbo hammer mini sprinklers the most popular systems is used for the lawn is called your pop up sprinkler system please remember this is the objective question they may ask in the examination the for the lawn which type of sprinklers may be used that is your pop up sprinkler okay the pot circle medium size sprinklers are used for your agriculture purpose so always we are using the the pot circle means the completely off rotation okay off rotation of the sprinkler so this type of irrigations may be used for your agriculture purpose next one is rain gun mostly used for your that is your sugar cane okay these are the high planting 
but low water distribution efficiency from your rain gun system.